afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Victor Hart, um, chairman of the Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute. <coughs> Um, my organization welcomes the opportunity to share with you our thoughts on integrity in public procurement and to introduce to those of you who have not heard of them before uh, some anti-corruption tools uh, which could be adopted or adapted for use in the construction industry uh, in, in the Caribbean. Um, I know that you have the full text of um, our prepared address so that um, I shall use the limited time available to me to underscore certain points in, in the address in the hope that you would have time later on to read the full um, text. And uh, if you had any uh, follow-up queries or comments, at the very end of the text you would see and our institute's email address so that you could communicate with us uh, if necessary. Um, the Trinidad Tobago Transparency Institute is probably new to most of you, and so too would be our parent company, uh, Transparency International. So I just spend a, a, a short time in introducing ourselves. Um, Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute, or TTTI as we are referred to for short, is a national chapter, one of a hundred such chapters across the world, of Transparency International, TI for short, uh, which is a Berlin-based um, civil society organization which was formed in 1993 and is the world's leading uh, civil society organization that advances um, anti-corruption measures across the globe. TI tries to promote good governance as a primary tool for uh, improving or at least reducing corruption where possible and um, eliminating it if in some areas um, that, that proves possible. Um, TI is an independent, non-government organization, non-profit, non-political, and it seeks to interface with governments in a, a non-confrontational manner. It interfaces with the private sector, the public sector, international agencies, other NGOs, um, often with the hope of trying to develop a, a consensus on, on an approach that could be adopted for fighting corruption both at national and international levels. Uh, TTTI was formed in 1998 and we are the only national chapter of Transparency in, uh, International in, in the Caribbean. Transparency, uh, it, TI's vision is shown on the screen um, and its mission. And TTTI subscribe basically to the same thing, except that in the Caribbean, being the only um, national chapter, we also see that we have a regional destiny in the sense of spreading the transparency, well, international message to other parts of the, the region. So at the moment, for instance, we are in close liaison with a group in Guyana and one in Barbados, and we expect that probably before the end of the year, TI chapters will emerge in those two countries. And we expect uh, that certainly uh, by next year, we would see TI chapters uh, spreading to many other parts of, of, of the um, CARICOM region. Procurement, as we know generally, is the um, acquiring of goods and services, but on construction projects, it's more than that. And they're listed, um, are all list, uh, the stages, in fact, from needs assessment to contract execution. Some would even say that it goes beyond that in terms of um, maintenance, 
and um, operational use of the, the, the facility. Um, in general, we are very pleased to see the conferences focus on, on so many different aspects of public procurement because it's an area of public life in Trinidad and Tobago that we have given uh, in TTTI uh, a lot of attention and continue to do so today. Our interest in public procurement uh, stems from the fact that very large proportions of the national uh, budget is spent on procurement, thus making it an area that offers the most attractive op opportunities to those who wish to corrupt the process and illegally enrich themselves. The fact that TTTI has been invited to address this conference on the in uh, on integrity in public procurement is recognition by the organizers that procurement that is practiced without integrity cannot truly serve the common good and can inflict great harm. Therefore, corruption in public procurement is an issue that this important conference could not ignore. In fact, this conference would be failing in its purpose and failing the citizens of the countries represented here today if the issue of corruption was not in fact discussed in some detail and strong conference recommendations not made on possible strategies to combat it. It therefore has pleased me to see how, how many people, starting with Senator Drayton uh, on the first um, address, who kept referring to corruption and procurement, because wherever there is procurement, unfortunately one finds corruption, so that one cannot sensibly divorce one from, from the other. Corruption generally is facilitated by a lack of transparency and accountability, and um, in public procurement, it usually takes the form of bribery, extortion, fraud, and collusion. We in Trinidad and Tobago know of corruption in public procurement only too well. Ask anybody on the street about corruption in public procurement, and off the top of their head, they can tell you of projects from the distant past um, which had corruption in the, in the procurement process. Currently, our people is with, are witnessing several ongoing criminal trials in our law courts arising from the procurement processes used in the construction of the Piaco International Airport through which those of you who are visiting uh, enter the, this country. Among the local persons facing trial at the moment are five former cabinet ministers, including a former prime minister. The project's main contractor, the project financiers, an attorney, and a chartered quantity surveyor. Concurrent with the local criminal cases, we followed from here similar cases in the law courts of, the, of Florida, arising from the same procurement processes. These cases have now been resolved, resulting in the jailing of the imposition of heavy, very heavy fines and the confiscating of multi-million dollar projects from some of the US-based consultants and contractors who were engaged on the project. Corruption, therefore, in procurement is very much an issue of interest to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, 